design language, um, the, the, the best design should not be translated in, in that sense, I feel. I think what kind of language that you are being brought up as a, as a kid, like, you know, it's instinctive, right? It's in you for the rest of your life. It will be in your thinking, it will be in your dressing, it will be in the way you live, you know what I mean? So I think the kind of language that we are being brought up as a kid has a great influence to us as who we are. In fact, um, most of the races in Singapore, whether it be the Chinese, Indian, Malay, Tamil and all that, it sort of have this kind of social phenomenon that it's not cool to speak Chinese or Tamil or Malay or anything outside of English. Uh, the young generation do not identify with it anymore. I talk to like my Indian friends and I talk to my Malay friends. Do you see the same thing in your culture? They say totally. I think this is a byproduct of a problem with information overload because everybody is stepping into the same sort of visual dictionary of the internet, which is, which is very much propagated or dominated by Western sort of culture and imagery and all that. And in Singapore, um, sadly, you know, we, we, we are fed on, in education-wise, we are fed on Western culture, Western literature, we study Shakespeare, you know, we study all the uh, Western poetry and all that instead of anything Chinese, you know, Romance of the King Three Kingdom, Journey to the West, all that. These are the things that we should be learning to give us a kind of a DNA. So I, I would love to be fed on that as a kid so that it will mold the way I think as a designer very naturally. It will be in my DNA without me even having to try so hard. So I think the thing is that that's why we are a, bit, a little bit confused, you know, as a, as a speaking from a creative person, because a lot of times I look at my own design and I'm critical of it. I'm like, why is this looking like a European design? Where's my root? You know, who am I as a <laughs> Singaporean? Why can't I make this a Singapore design? You know what I mean? When I look at like Hong Kong designers or, or China designers, um, I, I, I'm envious of, of, of the, the kind of design that they can, they can come up with because intrinsically they think in Chinese, they design in Chinese and you know their graphic design will be using Chinese words. And I think the moment you use Chinese words versus English words, the kind of spatial sense, you know, uh, because in most graphic design, even in architecture, I believe, you, you design with negative space. And how you can, you can balance like your typography or your design elements with the negative space is what gives it the, a, a graphic design the essence, you know. And this is, this is also very similar to Chinese philosophy, right? Chinese painting, Chinese calligraphy. It's always more so the negative space than the solids. Right. In fact, um, I, I, I learned Chinese, uh, Chinese painting and my, my teacher would always emphasize the essence of Chinese painting is in the white space. It's how you leave the white space that gives you the character, you know what I mean? Strongly, I believe that it's parallel in Western and Chin uh, Chinese philosophy in terms of design. It's about the negative space, but how we see the negative space is different. How we see the negative space is different. So if you are being brought up in a sort of, like say, Chinese culture and all that, the way you see the negative space and you compose it naturally, this is, this is why some people are more talented than others, because you can feel, you can feel the space. It is so hard to teach because I can never hold your hand to create white space. You must be able to feel it, you know. And, and this, of course, in relation to Chinese typography as versus to English typography is that the way you put the text, Chinese text is, is top down traditionally, and most posters would be designed that way. English is this way. The kerning, the leading, already different. The way that it takes up the space in a canvas is different. The way you can play with the words, and when you play with the words, it has an impact on visually how you, where you put the words is different, right? How you pun on a Chinese phrase and how you pun on an English phrase is different. If I had been educated with a lot of like sort of Chinese cultural imageries, if I'm overloaded with that as I grow up, I think my DNA will be very different as, as a graphic designer today. <laughs>